Welcome to Card Player's Daily Deal. Today is Friday, May 25th, 2007. I'm Rich Belsky, and this is Lizzie Harrison. Joseph Hashem is the newest member of the World Poker Association's Board of Directors. One of Hashem's main goals as a member of the Board of Directors is to help the WPA recruit new members during this year's World Series of Poker. Hashem now serves as the Board's Secretary as well as the face of the association, so expect to see him manning the booth at the Rio during the World Series of Poker. Other WPA board members who you might see at the booth and who are also professional poker players include Chris Bigler and Marcel Lusk. World Poker Tour founder, president, and chief executive officer Steve Lipscomb has asked for the opinion of the poker world to find out what they think of the World Poker Tour's final table structure. Currently, the structure is under review, and Lipscomb hopes to hear the public's opinion on the matter at www.worldpokertour.com. The current structure, which has received some criticism for being too fast, was created by Bellagio Tournament Director Jack McClellan in conjunction with several top poker pros. Kirk Kerkorian's Tracinda Corporation has expressed a desire to negotiate a deal to purchase both the Bellagio and Project City Center. The Tracinda Corporation already owns 56% of MGM. Kerkorian's interest in buying the two properties sent shares of MGM Mirage up 26%. Tomorrow, Card Player is heading to the Palms Casino for the Discreet in the Suite event at the Hefner Sky Villa Suite. The party starts at 4 in the afternoon and goes until well after dawn. The suite will be packed with models, celebrities, and the Las Vegas elite. Since Card Player has the exclusive video rights, the only place for you to know what's going on in the Hefner Sky Villa Suite is to check it out right here on Card Player TV. The World Series of Poker Circuit event at Harris New Orleans ended this week and the champion is Lou Esposito. He took home over half a million dollars for his victory. The runner-up in the $5,000 buy-in championship event was Clint Schaefer. Thank you for watching Card Player's Daily Deal for your daily dose of poker news. I'm Rich Belsky. And I'm Lizzie Harrison for Card Player TV.